Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, what to bring on your trip to Universal Studios, what to pack. Um, I leave for my trip in 11 days, so I'm kind of getting everything together, getting ready, making sure I have everything. Um, so yeah, let's get started. This will be a super short video today and I will link all the items below as well. Number one thing I say to always pack is a bag of ponchos. Get these on Amazon. They can be so expensive in the parks, like crazy expensive. And they of course have like different types of ponchos that you can get. I just get like this little cheap five pack um, and they're great. As you can see, I've already used a couple of them, but I still have some left over for my next trip. It will probably rain when I'm there. It's just how it goes in uh, Orlando. It just rains all the time. <laughs> on your trip, especially in the afternoon. So that is definitely a, a big thing. Uh, they, they are not that expensive on Amazon. Here they are. I'll link them below or I'll just copy the URL. I, I don't have the ability to really link things yet until I get more subscribers. So yes, these are great. They're not that expensive. In the park, you will pay probably the same price for one as you can get for a five pack of these. Oh, Leo is back with his uh, talking. He is just letting us know how he feels. I, <clears throat> one thing I definitely think a lot of people don't really think about before, but I am someone who gets sick pretty often, um, is uh, having a lot of vitamin C, taking your vitamins before you go on your trip is super important. I love Airborne's immune support. I think it's great. Um, I like to drink a lot of vitamin C. Before I leave, one to just keep my immunity up while I'm there and before. Um, there are so many people around and I'm, I like recently, I've just been the person that gets sick all the time. Um, so I'm really, I'm super cautious about making sure that I am like fully healthy <laughs> when I go and, um, and to stay healthy while I'm there. Cause I mean, then there's nothing worse than being sick while you're at Universal. Happened to me this December, I had the flu and it was still a really fun trip, but I was like just depleted my energy was just, and I was like running fever and sweating. It was horrible. Um, but yeah, so I'm definitely doing better now, trying to like really stay on top of vitamin C, zinc, vitamin D, all that stuff to keep you healthy. So um, Airborne's great, super cheap. You can get these on Amazon, um, CVS, Walgreens. You can get them pretty much anywhere. Um, speaking of medication, this will be my next thing that I think is really great to bring to the parks with you. Whether you get motion sick or not, you should always have some sort of motion sickness medication. Um, this is the Dramamine um, Ginger. This is like non-drowsy, like not less drowsy, just non-drowsy. It's it, it's a main ingredient is ginger, which is really good for nausea. Um, it's definitely something I like to take with me, especially if I start to feel a little bad after eating really horrible all day and then going upside down 10 times on a roller coaster. So, um, but preventative wise, I think um, you can take these before um, as well, just to kind of avoid the nausea. I have this as well, bonine. That's how you say it. I may be completely butchering that. Um, but th this stuff is great. This is a lot less drowsy than Dramamine. Um, I've used it and I, I loved it. I think I thought it was great. Um, it says that they have like the same ingredients in them as Dramamine, but I swear to you, like this stuff is so much better. I've had more success with this than I have with Dramamine. Um, you can get this on Amazon. Pretty sure you can get this at Walgreens, CVS, anything, but I order mine on Amazon, both of these actually. And they're tiny. I mean, you can just take like a small thing with you and just fit it in like your bag. Same with these. Um, they come in like a little pill bottle. I've already used all of them. So I ordered another, but these are my must haves at the park. <laughs> um, and it could not be you. It could be someone in your party or you may find someone you come across to, to the park with and you're noticed that they're not feeling well. You meet them in line or something. So it's always good just to have this on hand. Um, same thing with like a leave. Always bring something just in case you get a headache. You don't want to be at the parks feeling horrible. That is just like the worst possible. I mean, you're spending all this money to be there. You need to feel good. So I'm super extra cautious with this stuff and I always have it on hand. So definitely must purchases, must purchases. This may not be necessary for everyone, um, but I always have a like frog, I think these are called frog dogs. What are these called? The things that you get wet and you can wrap around your neck and they stay wet. 
I always have one of these with me because every time I go <laughs> in like April, May, June, July, whenever I go, it's hot. It is so hot. Um, and again, I mean, I can kind of, I've gotten used to it now, but like the first time I went, I was like, oh my God, I'm like sweating. I'm going to, whatever. I'm like a baby about everything. So <laughs> again, always prepared. Um, you can just literally wet this, put it around your neck and you cool off so quick. It stays wet, stays, um, yeah, it just stays great. Uh, stays very wet and cool. This one's called, uh, Yaunt Yauncey cooling towel. Um, I think I got this on Amazon, so. I will link it below. Um, if not, this could have just come from like Carson's work or something, but cooling towels are great, especially if you have people that maybe suffer from, I don't know, like heat. What are those called? What are those called? Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. I can't think. Uh, heat hot flashes. <laughs> That's what they're called. Yes. Great. I suffer from hot flashes. Who doesn't? Honestly, what woman doesn't? All girls do. These are great. Love these so, 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 so much. So definitely buy one of those super cheap. Buy a pack of them. If you have a family that gets warm easily, I don't know, or don't, I, I think these are great. Um, I haven't used this recently, so, but I always bring it just in case. So definitely something on your list that you should pack. Um, if you can, so, this is really depressing. This is going to be like a really cool part of my video and I can't find it now and I need to find it or I'll just order a new one before my next trip next week. But, um, collapsible water bottles, are the coolest invention ever. <laughs> They're like this little rubber bottle that collapses. It has a cap on it. You just put your water in it, drink all your water, collapse it, and you can put it into your bag. There's water fountains all around the park. So it's the coolest thing ever. I'm gonna show a picture or a video of how these work. Um, oh man, this is really sad. Like, I love my collapsible water bottles so much too. Like, so much really really cool so not exactly where it went i could have left it on my last trip um i've seen it since then so anyway very cool i'm definitely gonna order another one now but yeah these are really great so nice to have these um so you don't have to worry about carrying a water bottle around or having to stick something in a backpack um but yeah they're really they're really great i recommend getting one i love mine doesn't taste weird bpa free all the things so Love those. I'm laughing so hard I'm going through. <laughs> oh, there's my, I thought I used all of it. There's my ginger non-drowsy. I'm going through my fanny pack, which I'm about to talk about next. And I'm finding all of my <laughs> cough drops from when I had the flu last time that I was at Universal. Oh my God. Horrible memories. I'm just kidding. It was so much fun. I had like, it was like one of the best trips I've ever had, but my God, it was so bad. I won't even attach the pictures of me being a sweaty, disgusting human um anyway okay so here's my next thing that you should 1000 percent have with you and i'll tell you why that i like a fanny pack more than a backpack um they go around your waist first of all they're very easy they hold phones i mean i can put my phone in here just like perfectly i can fit my uh, motion sickness medication in here i can fit my cards in here anything i need goes in here and you don't have to put this in a locker on most rides. Like Hagrid's, you can, I can wear my fanny pack on. Um, Mummy, I can wear my fanny pack on. Any water ride, you can wear your fanny pack on. Really, the only ones that they don't let you wear them on are like the upside down roller coasters. So definitely want to um, take that in consideration. It is so nice not having to rent a locker for every freaking ride. If you bring a backpack, which if you have a bigger family, you're going to have a backpack. It's fine. They have lockers. But... I love a fanny pack over a backpack because of the fact I don't have to go rent a locker or go go wait for all my locker to open, whatever. I can just go right into the line. Um, Hagrid's is one that like the locker area is like, oh my gosh, it's brutal over there. You walk in, it's like, first of all, there's a million people everywhere. It's hot. Everyone's like pushing each other because they're trying to get to the Hagrid's line. I'm like, I just can't take this. Now that I'm bringing my camera this go around, I do not think it's gonna fit in my fanny pack unless I get a bigger one, which I don't really see that happening. So yeah, um, I have a couple fanny packs I like to bring. I have some like cute themed one, like with my Stranger Things. I have a Stranger Things shirt on right now, actually. This is one of the coolest shirts I own for sure. Um, I have a Stranger Things fanny pack that I love so much. It's smaller though, so like, I don't really like to bring it to the parks, but yeah, this is just the basic black fanny pack. Um, 
definitely consider it over a book bag. If you're gonna buy one or the other, buy the fanny pack if you can fit everything in it. Um, and like, just don't bring stuff to the parks that you don't need and then you can fit everything in your fanny pack. It's great. Now if you're bringing like waters and stuff, you need lockers. So yes, this is, this is definitely another must have um, on my list. The thing I really like to have, um, I barely feel like I actually end up wearing it because you can't wear it on coasters. Um, a lot of people are like, you don't need a lanyard, but I'm such a freaking nerd for these pins that I have on here. I wish it would focus on the pins. They're so cute. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, there's my Velocicoaster pin. Um, my Quidditch pin, the wings fell off. Uh, Dobby, Despicable Me. My dad got me this Disney one for my um, graduation when we went and just got this ET one when I was at the Orlando Informer event. And I still have to put this one on, but it's so heavy. Anyway, I just turned into a pen sharing, but my favorite ride. Can this please focus? Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure pin. Very cool. Anyway, you don't really need this, but I like to have it. Okay. I really like to have it um, to carry my annual passes in. Because if I just stick them into my fanny pack, I feel like I've like I, I have to like sort through it because I have so much crap in there. Um, but yeah, I put my room key in here for early park admission. Room key, and then there's my annual pass. And then I have like gift cards and stuff that I'll put in there if we have gift cards to use. So very very cool. Um, I love a lanyard. I think they're great to have. But a lot of people are like, you don't need them, which you really don't. But I like to have it just so I don't lose everything. You can put like your debit cards and stuff in here too. Um, but yeah, and I think a lot of kids like to wear them and like collect pins and I don't know. It's fun to wear around your neck and walk around and like have all your pins. You can do like some pin trading. I have a SpongeBob one. Super cute. This is like definitely very nerdy part of me, but it's okay. As you can see, all my collectibles back there. But anyway, yeah, love a lanyard. These are really great. Um, so yeah, I have one more thing I think that's on my list that I would recommend bringing. Um, and I'll get to that next. This is gonna sound really stupid. Please bring an extra pair of socks to the park <laughs> if you are planning on riding water rides. Oh my gosh, or just wear like flip-flops or like water shoes or whatever, like Crocs or something. <sighs> the water rides you will get off and your feet will be soaking wet. And if you're like a person who's like offended by that or like angry about having wet feet, which is really never fun, then your feet are all like, they do that thing where they like, waterlogged yeah i would bring a pair of socks an extra pair of socks they have those human drying machine things that are next to it but i feel like it never really gets my feet so and i think that kind of wraps up my list i mean this sounds kind of silly um everything i've probably said but like the ponchos like fanny pack motion sickness medication taking vitamins before you come i mean all that stuff is super important so definitely um this is just for like your park day like i would love to do an extra video where it's like this is what you should pack this is what you should bring for your entire trip. This is what you need to wear. Um, but I don't know how many people would be super interested in that. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll probably do another video of like what I pack um, as like a little short or something before I go on my trip. But yeah, I hope you guys have um, enjoyed this video. Let me know if I forgot anything below that's like super obvious. Um, but yeah, have a great day.